she sleep well? Did you sleep well, baby? Uh-huh. Mm. Oh, big stretch. Mm. Sleep well. <laughs> yeah. You're so smiley in the morning, which is very, very good. I'm so lucky to have her. Love her to pieces. Oh, and my throat was just killing me last night. Right now, it kind of kills me, but I try not to talk a lot today. But I don't know if it's possible, because I don't know if I could even shoot videos without talking. But we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll just, like, caption everything and make it a silent movie, black and white silent movie. How about that, baby? Let's do a black and white silent movie. Huh? Yeah, she's using her chest. She's like pushing up to touch the butterfly or something. It's weird. I wonder what does that do? Why she does that? Why do you do that, baby? Here, let mama help you. There you go. Your stomach is touching the butterfly now. Penny, hi, <laughs> what were you eyeing on, huh, what were you looking at, were you looking at the tiger, or the lion, I think there's a lion, is that what you were looking at? Yeah, this is her sleep spot right here. Like almost bald. So sad. But grow back. I know it'll grow back. And like you could tell her head is not fat because a lot of new moms worry that this part is straight and fat. And if it is, I would talk to your um, pediatrician. But if it's night, you can see it's rounded right here like that. Then it's a good thing. So it's a good thing. I can't believe she's going to be three months tomorrow. So my husband and I, um, we felt that we we're going to catch a cold because my little brother already has a cold. So we had a tingling feeling in our throat um, since yesterday. So I'm like, oh no, I got to like fight it like crazy. So I was gargling salt like crazy yesterday and drinking a lot of hot orange juice with honey. And then this morning... I did feel really crappy because my throat really hurt when I swallowed. So I decided to have another cup of hot orange juice in the morning. And that was around, I think, um, 7. And then my husband texted me this morning and asked how I felt. And I'm like, at that moment, I felt great. I, I could speak. It doesn't hurt when I swallow. And then I asked him how he felt. And he's like, crappy. He feels like his throat really hurts, he's coughing, his nose is running, and he thinks he definitely has a cold. So, I should have been a tougher wife and tell him, like, you gotta gargle, you gotta drink hot orange juice, but 
you know, even every time I suggest hot orange juice, he'll be like, ew, who does that? But you know what? It works. It works, and I swear by on it. Every time I get sick, I just buy a carton of orange juice, heat it up, and just drink it, and it works. So right now, I'm just sanitizing my breast pump and a bottle. And these are done. Um, I think I'm gonna go visit my old stomping ground and um, meet up with some co-workers and see how things are going. I've been on mat leave for those um, who don't know. Um, it's already been almost six months, six months since mat leave. So I just want to check up and see how they are, how things are at the store and um, you know visit also do a little bit of shopping for Penelope because I still have not found any sleepers that I like and it's all zippers up there like what is going on I understand that zippers are a lot cheaper to make and faster than the buttons but mm, I prefer the buttons instead so my baby stays warm when I change her and I don't have to always bend her knee and leg or, so I'm going to try finding some um, at that mall that I'm going to today. What else? Oh, I'm going to bring my little brother along. Because, you know, he has nothing to do. He just, uh, he's in second year of university. still looking for a co-op job. But at the same time, he's done school. So it's his summer vacation. So might as well get him out of the house and, you know, help me with Penelope. And the reason why I decide to um, sanitize a bottle is because I want to feed her a bottle when I get there. They are, there are family rooms that I can nurse her to, but um, I do want to check that out. But um, secondly, the reason why I opt for bottles because I want her to get used to the bottle too. Because when we, we did it before and then we stopped the week and we tried again, she refused the bottle. So I'm trying to constantly, like, at least once a week, minimum once a week, I'll do a bottle. Just so, you know, she knows, you know, oh, what is this? And, oh, okay, oh, yeah, I remember this. Yeah, so I'm going to do that today. So the time now is 11.56. I put Penny down at 10.25. It's been almost an hour and a half. I'm kind of, like, worried because her naps are always half an hour. And that's it, like, almost every day for the last three, four weeks, it's always been half an hour. And now it's been an hour and a half, and she's still right there. And I'm still waiting for her to wake up, and I don't want to wake her. Because, I don't know, I don't know if she's sick or not. Maybe that's why she's sleeping longer. And that's why I want her to rest, so that her body could, like, fight it too, if she is sick. I don't know. And I do want to go go out um, to where I work, well, where I used to work, and visit my co-workers. And I don't know if she'll sleep through it or not, or maybe she'll be awake. Oh, bitches. Hmm. We'll see. I have to leave the house in half an hour, so it'll be a quick change for her to her day outfit. And then we'll go. Yay, she's awake. I missed her. Let's go get chained, baby. She's still on him in her PJs. Oh. I'll pick out an outfit. Let's put you down. This is Legoland in Toronto. Apparently it's a Lego store, but then you could do stuff inside. It's a discovery center. I think my husband will love that. So we're at um, a mall that I used to work at. Well, I'm still working by Mom at me. And it's so nice to walk around on Mondays because on weekends, this mall is packed. So. And she's enjoying sleeping possible to find sleepers here well they do have sleepers it's just that 
a lot of them are newborns, the ones that I want, and the ones that aren't, they have no footy. Like this. It's all like cut off and you have to put socks on them. And they have a lot that are doing the diagonal on one side too, where you have to like pull out the other leg. So, what's going on? Okay, I found one that's for size six months. Not crazy about to see, but it's buttoned on down and then button between the crotch. And I looked at the price. It's like $23.99. That's insane. I'll never buy a steamer that much. I'm at Winners and I already found two sleepers that I like. Good price too. So I'm in the family room of uh, the mall. It's pretty good. They have a quiet section here. For breastfeeding and then a separate area for um, the change table and then one more area for the toilets. It's pretty nice. And it has all this decorations. It's not too bad. It's pretty clean too. Good job. Okay guys, so we just got back home from the mall. It was a pretty long day at the mall. We were there for four hours. Um, little Miss Pete decided to have a poop explosion and it went all over her back and to the side so we had to change her. And at that time, I forgot to pack some pants and she only had her sleeper, so she, like just a bodysuit one. So I had to, it's what she's wearing right now. Um, so I had, she just wore that and I just put a blanket over her bum area. But I just want to show you, I don't know if it's her standing or maybe she's just lying on me. But like, like look at that. I think she's standing on me from the side. Let's see. I don't know, but she's like standing. Like, or maybe she's laying on me. I don't know, but her legs are like that. She's making all these grunting noises. I'm just changing her diapers right now, so and my video logging camera is actually downstairs, and I have my iMacBook MacBook upstairs in the room. Um, figure out use that instead of running downstairs. And she had another explosion. Oh, wonder if it's because she's getting a virus. Because I'm coming down with the virus. I don't know how to look that up. But um, while I was at uh, my work, I was talking to my coworker, and she suggested that you know Penny's ready for solids. I'm like, what? She's only three months. She's just not even only three months. Tomorrow she'll be three months. And I'm like, what? I don't think so. She's like, no, no, yeah, yeah. So I did a bit more research on the internet to read it. And one website suggests that it's between four to six months. Um, but as long as they're good with their head, that they could hold their head up and that they could sit up. Um, they don't have to sit up perfectly. They could wobble. But as long as they could sit up and that they have good like um, swallowing reflexes so they don't push the food out and just take it in. So I think she might be ready because she's constantly putting her hand and whatever she could get, you know, in her mouth. And especially Sophie. She just loves Sophie. And, you know, oh, and also the website said double their weight since birth. So I think she's getting there too. So I might maybe in the next two weeks, you know, start her on just like cereal or porridge. But yeah, I got to gonna do a bit more research on that because I think three months is a bit too early but I do want to continue breastfeeding her for sure um, just in case you know like didn't get enough nutrient and stuff like that so definitely I will breastfeed her are you all clean now yes sorry I'm just cleaning her diaper Swallow your eyes, let's watch your face. She loves getting her face washed, yeah. The eyes, which is good. Yeah. You like that? 
Like, you know, <laughs> like, it's like, oh, yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, oh, is that food? Oh, oh, oh. wash your mouth. Well, look who's here to join us for dinner. <gasps> Evan, hi. Yes, good job waving. And then Eddie, and then Evan, and then the dinner, and my dad, and then there's Evan. And then there's Penny, and Evan. Hi! Did you just wake up? Oh, oh, <laughs> Did you just wake up?